Hey, hi everyone. So I hope that you all are doing well. Today I'm going to talk about uh, why Jamstack, right? So let me put it in a very layman terms that why you need a Jamstack based architecture and what exactly it is, you know, because there are lots of confusion in the internet that hey, it's a technology or it's an architecture, what kind of technology I should use, what kind of headless CMS I should use. But before going into all those directions, you know, you need to understand about what is the actual meaning of it and how you can leverage all those particular headless CMS, you know, uh, the static site generators out there in the market. There are multiple static site generators, multiple headless CMS, and then how to combine them and use them in, in, in the whole uh, Jamstack architecture space. Now, having said that, uh, did you get a chance to look into any of the website, which is a slow website? Now, how to define that if the website is a slow or fast? Is that how much time it's taking to load on the website when you're visiting it for the first time? And how many of you would like to entertain those kind of websites, which are not that great in terms of the user experience and the speed as well? So that's the problem number one. The problem number two is the accessibility, the user experience we talk about, that what kind of the color, combinations you should use in your website, what should be the contrast ratio, what should be the, you know, the foreground and the background color in terms of the better user experience for someone who is having specs like me and someone who do not wear specs. The third point is, you know, the security threats, you know, on the, in, the, in the traditional websites, which we have seen and which has already been uh, pointed out by lots of uh, companies and the open source community developers out in the market that the most of the templating websites which are out in the market are open to security threats. And they can be had, you know, it's just a matter of time, any, 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 any soon time, you know, you might have said that how you, how you can be so sure about it. You can go to your website, you know, you can go to any of the website, run to Google Lighthouse audit, and you'll get to know that what kind of security threats they have. So this is the problem number three, where companies and the individuals are struggling to, you know, uh, make their website more secure. HTTPS is not the only way to secure the website. There are other parameters also, which needed to, you know, cater this whole best practices. The fourth area, the fourth major problem is the SEO. You know, uh, lots of companies are out in the market. They provide you the keyword analysis. They do the keyword research and they say that, hey, use this particular keyword and the, your SEO is going to be super awesome or use this backlinking, free backlinking, paid backlinking and your SEO is going to be super. Those all things are valid, but you know, you need to be backed up by the technology, which is going to support all those prospects. And that's where the server side rendering jumps in, because when you, when your Google crawl boards or the other crawlers, you know, look into your uh, indexing for the SERP position, you know, they don't care about the backlinking on the, on the, on the very first beginning. They care about what kind of technology is catering to the server first or not, because majority of the you know, technologies are based toward the client side rendering. And when it's come to the server side, it's very important to understand what kind of, uh, you know, the coding practices you should use to inject all those keywords and all those uh, media tags and all those backlinking and other stuff strategically into your uh, technology and your code base. So that's where, you know, there's a fourth point, which is majorly uh, being missed by all of the community members because uh, SEO is there, but what could be the best possible way to implement it inside the technology itself? And the fifth point is the progressive web app. Now, personally, I'm a very big fan of PWA because if you have seen the last, uh, you know, the meeting of Google I.O., you must have seen that how progressive web app is going to change the world and the way they have, uh, you know, asked the community to, you know, develop the progressive web apps and you can add them into the Play Store as well. So the benefit of the progressive web apps are you, you get the out of the box casting, you know, you don't have to pay money towards that, how to the, how the CDN will work and how the other stuff will go around, how the service workers will operate out of the box. You know, so these are the major challenges which are out there in the industry. And with the Jamstack architecture, you can solve each one of them. So when you, when you switch to the Jamstack architecture, you know, uh, you get to know about that the speed is the 10x faster because everything is kind of decoupled over there. You know, you have your uh, server side running technology served by a CDN. There's no server involved in it. It's a more kind of serverless architecture. Uh, your whole content has been held by some uh, third party or some open source tools like a Strapi or some third party, you know, CMS management system like Storyblock, Prismic, Contentful, etc. depending upon your choice and the budget. As well as, you know, uh, this gives you the 10x speed in terms of the first contentful paint, time to interactive, large contentful paint, you know, cumulative layout shift, etc. The other technical jargons I'm using, but I'll come later to that. What does, it, does this mean? 
the second prospect is the accessibility when you when you go to all those areas you can you can identify the problem of your website while you're running the lighthouse audit to your website and understand there's 16,000 lines of json which they provide for the mobile app uh, you know the mobile app kind of a structure and for the desktop app kind of a structure so you can see how your website is performing on the mobile devices and how they're performing on the desktop devices and you can identify the problem and fix it along with the jamstack architecture as well the third point is the uh, the security threats you know there are no security threats in 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 a jamstack based architecture because there is no direct involvement of the server any side so even if the injection will be there you know that can that that is not something which you should worry about and you will save ample amount of money on on the security threats the fourth point and the foremost point is the seo is the way the server side rendering you know happens is that they they provide the crawlers the first entry point on the server itself to to you know parse your content and give them a better server position and the better indexing the last point is the pwa again you get out of the box caching you get you know the different kind of uh, plugins to you know install a install a particular pwa in just a uh, in the five minute of time span not more than that and you can always optimize it for the push notifications and the other uh, you know the benefits which this particular technology is going to provide now having said there's all those pointers like what could be the technology selection for the jamstack architecture so you know uh, we don't judge any technology on the basis of that uh, you know how they are going to be in the market and how exactly they are but as of now we are practicing gatsby nextjs nuxjs gridsum for the front end development you know basically on the static site generators and on the content management side we heavily use the strapi story block prismac because we felt that you know these are the these are the easy to go technologies in the market and anyone can understand even a layman individuals can understand all those prospects and go and launch their website online what are the benefits you know when you move to the headless cms you know you you have the kind of a control over the content which can be uh, frequently changed without the help of any technical guy like me you can just go or if you're not a technical guy you can just directly go change your content into that particular architecture and you can you know go live into the industry and that's how this whole piece works it's a it's a revolutionary change for the marketing agency it's a revolutionary change for the news agency it's a revolutionary change for someone who wants to cater a similar content you know to the mobile apps as well as the desktop apps as well as the websites so you do not have to maintain multiple cms to cater the similar stuff at the similar span of time you can use the one single headless cms and you can just boom go into the market and launch it and your every website will reflect to the same so these are the one of the key benefits you know when you when you switch to the jamstack architecture and definitely if the user experience is high the user retention rate will be high for sure and the debouncing rate will be minimized so these are the, these are the business prospects that uh, every company should look into this architecture uh, it's a fairly new architecture you know which has been tried and tested by nasa walmart uh, adidas you know pj hart these all bigger names are uh, revamping their whole architecture into the jamstack and i hope that is the right time for you guys also to switch to jamstack so yeah uh, having said that switch to jamstack is our uh, campaign and we believe in that so if you have any uh, doubts regarding the jamstack architecture headless commerce uh, headless cms you can feel free to uh, reach out to us you know by visiting our website or uh, visiting our contact us section and if you have a headless commerce section definitely we will talk about the headless commerce in the headless commerce section and for the better clarification as well so thanks a lot for watching this video and i really appreciate your time and i hope that we will be able to make the web a new world and we will be able to provide a better user experience to everybody who is coming to us the web because i strongly believe that the web is mother of every other technology which is out in the market thanks a lot for your time and uh, bye bye